Well, in the late 1800s, as the Jewish population grew in New York's Lower East Side, so did the popularity of the bagel. It wasn't until after World War II that bagels started making their way west for the rest of us to enjoy. But can we Midwesterners make a proper bagel? There is a place in Owatonna that we believe has cracked the code. It's called Old Town Bagels, your pick for the best bagel shop in Minnesota. It's no secret that the folks on the East Coast firmly believe that, by some miracle of geography, they are the only ones who can produce a quality bagel. New York City has the best bagels anywhere. So, if we were to suggest to that New Yorker that someplace here in flyover country could produce a bagel that might give them a run for their money. Made fresh every day. And that place was somewhere you had to fly over just to get to a flyover country, you might get this reaction. <laughs> But Mark and Stacy Wilson may have the last laugh because their little shop in Owatonna is turning out bagels that are so good. We do have an East Coaster guy that comes in and buys bagels from us, and he tells us that we're very, very comparable to the New York. Now, before you perish the thought, you should know that the Wilsons are serious about bagels and are laser focused on two goals making great tasting bagels for the good people of Owatonna. And people come in and they get what they want. And opening the doors promptly at 6.30 a.m. so Pete can properly start his day. Uh, that brings you, keeps you coming back. Oh, I enjoy, enjoy the bagel. I enjoy the atmosphere and I know it's the people. Yeah, I've been coming down here since you know, when Jim and Gretchen had it too. You see, former owners Jim and Gretchen Satterland are two of the three unsung heroes in the story. They helped the Wilsons realize a dream they hadn't even dreamt yet. A uh, bagel shop of all yes. things. I would have never believed it. I would have thought you were crazy. <laughs> but fate has a funny way of bringing people together. So two years ago. We were looking for something local that we could uh, run a business on our own in Owatonna and knew that they were looking to retire. A deal was struck and the Wilsons were the proud new owners of Old Town Bagels. So you knew nothing about bagels. Nothing. I knew you could buy them in the grocery store. <laughs> Undaunted, the Wilsons dove headfirst into the bagel business and several months of on-the-job training. It was a sharp learning curve. There's a lot to learn. And it wouldn't be running as smooth if it hadn't been for our... We've had some great help that has been here for a really long time. Which brings us to our third unsung hero, John Herrera, the keeper of the recipes, who, like most bakers, is seldom seen. It's not a pleasant environment. It's very hot and humid. There's the big boil pot sitting next to you that's constantly spitting steam out. Then you got the 400 degree oven in front of you. No wonder there's a mural of John on the side of the building. Makes you want to hug the guy. I mean, he's soaking wet by the time he leaves in the morning from sweating. Okay, after he's out of the shower. So the next time you're in Owatonna? Perfect pastrami or the burrito bagel. Breakfast so. melt is very popular, especially on the weekends. I'm getting hungry. Stop in at Old Town Bagels and save yourself a trip to New York. I'm Mark. And I'm Stacy with Old Town Bagels in Owatonna and... We're the best bagel shop in Minnesota. Woo! They're really good bagels. I know. And some fantastic sandwiches. I had one that Stacy just made up. It was pesto with chicken, and then there's some Asiago cheese and a tomato. I saw it made us. you dance. Yeah, it did make me dance. The it bagels themselves with were good. I didn't even have yeah. anything on them. They I know. Were they excellent. Were great. So. Yeah, congratulations. Absolutely. And those two fine looking teenagers that you saw in the story are the Wilson's kids, Abby and Weston, who, of course, are an important part of the operation. Just a great family, great people. Had a lot yeah, of I love the story. good time. Congratulations. Yeah. That's great. Okay, next Wednesday at 10, it's your choice for the best brewery in Minnesota. And then we need your help. We want to help. I want you to help us find your favorite midway game at the State Fair, the best place to grab a beer at the great Minnesota get together, and then the top Minnesota made movie, and then finally your favorite pregame stop before Viking games. So chime in, please. Share your picks right now on our Facebook page or tweet them to at WCCO. Fun. Did you get one of those bagels? We lost out on that. Today. I did not. I, I brought no, some back I'll for you. I'll have to take your word for it. It's good to have a connection. <laughs> yes. <laughs>